So apparently Theresa May's only got 72 hours to save her job. Why does that sound oddly familiar? You know, we're in interesting times regarding our beloved Prime Minister because uh, it kind of feels like she could step down at any given time. I got a plane from Norway to Edinburgh on Monday and it kind of felt like when I stepped on, by the time I got off the plane and switched my phone back on, we could have a new or no Prime Minister. Things are that tense. Which is where the whole Majora's Mask metaphor comes into play. Because it's perfect. I mean, think about Brexit. Have you ever thought of a better metaphor for Brexit than a giant angry looking moon that's gonna crash into the surface of the planet and annihilate the hopes and dreams of everyone you've ever known and it was summoned by this thieving, conniving little shit? But even better is the whole three days to save your job slash the world thing because think back, has Theresa May ever seemed like she was more than three days away from being ousted? Because of the way that Brexit has shattered the Conservative Party into a million different warring factions, it has never seemed at any point like Theresa May has ever been more than three days, 72 hours, away from being ousted. But, I mean, to give her the credit she's due, she's somehow, every single time, managed to reset that loop. But surely it can't last forever. In any case, this whole thing begs the question, where's the hero in this? Someone who can break the three-day loop, stop the threat of Brexit crashing into the ground and destroying everything. Well, there isn't one. Uh, really. We're all doomed. I mean, I guess there's you, and you know, there's me, and we could go on marches and write to our MPs and keep up public pressure to have another vote on this god-awful decision that was bought by lies, but apart from that, Brexit does have that sort of armageddon -y feeling to it, doesn't it? But anyway, those are just my thoughts. Leave yours in the comments below. As always, tell all your pals about this video. And I'll see you next week.